I also conducted soil sampling. Because I thought, you know, if, if this is real and they are spraying this, it's going to get to the ground. So I conducted air sampling, I conducted soil sampling, and I was getting high levels of these contaminants. When I started asking the question again under a new commander, I never in my life thought I would have somebody look me in the face and tell me, I am questioning you. Is there something wrong with you? You've been looking really depressed lately. You know I can put you under mental evaluation for a, up to 120 days. Who would take care of your daughter? Because I was divorced at the time. As soon as I heard that, I knew. It validated everything I ever thought. And I thought, I have spent nine years of my life trying to protect human health, and here we are violating law after law after law. Just sitting here, instead of protecting the people, we are poisoning the people. And I've never got up so much courage from that fear of being thrown in a cage, because when you're in the military, folks, you're a number. You are a number, and every aspect of your life is controlled. I was so lucky that my enlistment was coming up and I was supposed to re-enlist. I ran and did not look back, and I have been blowing the whistle and shouting ever since. And I left October 27th, 2010. And you ask yourself, if this is true and we are spraying the people, where are the pilots? Where are the people? I don't know if you pay attention, but look at Snowden. Look at, look at Manning. People don't come forward because these supposed whistleblower act protections that you have are not enforced, they're not supported, and they really don't exist. But what I want you to take from this is to understand that I am being completely honest with you and that geoengineering is occurring, it's been occurring, it is not new, and your tax dollars are funding this. I 100% know that the U.S. Air Force was involved, and it kind of I think back to all these things that I never had noticed. You don't, if you don't know what to look for, you can't look for something. And once I realized a process they were trying to hide, people have come out of the woodworks, from EPA compliance officers to ex-people that I worked with in my career field, who I cannot state for obvious reasons. I've had pilots come forward. I've had people come forward that actually load the canisters on the planes. These people don't come forward because they are afraid that they're going to end up like Snowden. And I continue to speak to let people know I've been screaming about this for three years and I'm still here. And why are you so afraid? Because many of these people are on active duty. And if you are willing to die for your country, supporting you know, the Constitution and defending us from enemies foreign and domestic, you are willing to die for your country, but now you're scared. You are scared and cowardly to talk about this. So I'm not just speaking to all of you in this room. I'm speaking to all those people that are going to watch this online and watch it on YouTube. Because you can come forward, you can help expose this, and we can stop it. So many people want to ask, why? Why is this occurring? That's for later thought. From weather modification to weather weaponry, there, there's numerous reasons under Agenda 21 and tons of theories. But my job as an industrial hygienist is to make sure that I comply with the laws and enforce them. So it is unethical every day for all the other people that are out there that work in preventive health or even physicians that aren't speaking about this. They need to. So one thing I want to tell you is what you can do about it. The biggest hurdle that we have is disinformation sites. I never say them, but I'm going to today so that you know if anyone ever gives these to you as a reference to debunk you, it's Metabunk and Contrail Science. Those are two websites that are ran by a government shill named Mick West. And he is a computer gaming programmer who tries to tell you about persistent contrails. So somebody who isn't even credentialed in chemistry or physics or ecology, none of that, is trying to tell you that you're crazy. So please vet research. And if you have something to write with, I want you to take down my email. It is Kristen, K-R-I-S-T-E-N, Megan, M-E-G-H-A-N, at gmail.com. And by emailing me, I can give you some information for what I'm about to tell you. 
If you still don't believe it, or you still want to convince people, there's something you can do. You can take a glass jar. It needs to be a glass jar, so there's no BPAs. Take a rain sample and take a snow sample. I tried to disencourage the soil sampling because everyone's background of where you live is different. Because a lot of the materials that are used in geoengineering are natural occurring in Earth, just not in the industrialized form that they are used. So if you take these rain samples and you take the snow samples, email me. Because I cannot publicly tell you where to send them because we've actually been blackballed by labs who refuse to run our samples. And a problem that is occurring is people are sending in rain samples to labs that don't realize how low the limit of detection needs to be because these are nanoparticulates. They are very small. So if you email me, I can tell you where to send in your samples, and it's only around $50. That may be tough on some people, but it's way cheaper than maybe what you assumed. So I just want everyone to know and understand that of all things, of all the freedoms that we are losing, Geoengineering is the number one issue that we are facing because you can have guns and money and you can have everything. If you don't have food and water and you are dying of respiratory or neurological illnesses, what does it matter? So you've heard about vaccines and you'll hear you know, about smart meters and you'll hear about other issues like fracking. These are all systemic effects. We are getting overexposed to toxins. People will tell you fluoride's in the water but it's not a lot. It is a lot because you're getting it everywhere in your food, you know, water that you drink. Everything is, excuse me, is washed with that water. And you're getting your vaccines. All this, it's a coupled systemic effect, and our bodies cannot metabolize these toxins. So I just want to thank you for taking the time to listen to my story. And I will continue to shout from the rooftops. I don't care how many jobs I lose. I don't care how many friends or family I lose. Because I took an oath. And in nine years, I was not able to honor that oath. But I am today.